The idea for this mini project came from an article in Nibble magazine in 1981. And what it did was relocate the programmer's aid music routines in the D000 ROM into AppleSoft. So this is the code that appeared in the magazine. And it's integer basic and it moved the code from the D717 to the um, 768 or 300, but it was missing a line, so I added that line. And um, it's a music routine, um, but I'm going to boot the disk image. This is available on archive.org, and uh, you'll see what it does. So it can run on any Apple IIe or greater system, loads integer basic. Okay, so the music routine, I have three demos of the, the as-is integer basic music demo, which actually has... So it has 50 notes and five different timbres, and this is all that it takes an integer basic to run that music routine. It's at that address, and you poke in your pitch, your duration, and your timbre. The timbre has five values, 2, 8, 16, 32, and 64. Okay, so um, that, this is how you do it. Do you call the music routine after poking those values? Okay, so what I did was um, I found the source code for that routine and reassembled it at address 6000. So here it runs in AppleSoft, the same timbre demo. So you notice the notes before 8, the 2 and the 8 had uh, slightly uh, out of 2, well, they're, they're the wrong notes because it's using duty cycles. Um, but starting from 8, these all sound similar and they have different timbres. So um, the routine is at uh, 6,000, and I added several entry points. And in Xcode, it has the source, and um, this was built using Jeremy Rand's build pipeline, which came from Quinn Dunkey and Carrington Vanston. Um, so it produces a disk image from Xcode, you code in CA65. So the original entry point jumped to a lookup for once you poke those three parameters. Um, I added a way of holding a, the note duration while a key is being pressed. So when it gets released, then the, music, the note stops. I implemented a little mini tracker, and I will eventually work on a MIDI player um, for like live performance. But um, I implemented a sample error sound in the menu so you could see how this could be used in an application. So if I reboot the disk. Okay, it runs the menu program. And then if you make an error on the menu, So that's using that tracker routine. So the data for the tracker routine is at the bottom here, and it's these bytes. So I wanted it to be four byte cells where the whole block is valid MIDI data. So here I'm setting a C0 for the patch number and I'm using patches zero through four for the five different timbre values. And then um, I have 90 to establish note on mode. And then I have delays. There's two bytes for the delay. And um, if it's, um, yeah, so, but the, their numbers zero to 127 and then um, note on and note off values, and it ends with 
the um, standard meta message for the end of a track. So you can code music data like this or um, import it from a MIDI keyboard or MIDI file um, in that format with the four byte cells and it will play it through here. Okay, so you could hear different timbres. Okay, it's more obvious with the first two. So number one. And number two. Okay, so the other integer basic modules are uh, the notes for each timbre. Okay, and then there's an unsupported demo to see the unsupported values greater than 50. So when this is called from integer basic, um, the unsupported values are actually going into the D8 ROM. So um, it's whatever's there in integer basic mode, or it's unpopulated if you leave the chip out. Okay, let's see what else is on the menu. Okay, so I had a program a while ago. It's adapted from Call Apple, um, which allows you to play piano with the piano keyboard. Okay, so I took that and adapted it for the um, for the uh, programmer's aid music routine. So that one is called uh, Prog Aid Piano. Run. Okay, so this allows you to try out the five timbres as you're playing a song. Okay, shift and numbers one through five will change the timbre. So it starts with a default of 32. And now let's change it to shift one. So it, as long as you hold the key down, it'll sound the note. It sounds better on real hardware. Okay, let's try shift two. Okay, and then let's try shift three. Okay, so you could have fun. It requires an 80 column firmware support. So the 2C has it built in, the 2E needs an 80 column card. Okay, so have fun. Um, you know, all the programs are here on this disk image. It's listable and it's on archive.org. Thank you.